Hey everyone, welcome to Rendering Pattern Series and this would be an introductory video where I will be talking about the various type of uh, rendering patterns that we are going to talk about in this whole series and also this would be an introduction to uh, pre-rendering and rendering so i think uh, we will slowly and gradually build the foundations to understand uh, all of these patterns that you are seeing on the screen yeah so that was all about uh, this particular video now let's begin with this So in rendering patterns, actually you will find basically four, uh, four patterns. One is CSR, uh, client side rendering. One is SSR, server side rendering. And one is static gen uh, site generation and incremental site regenerations. So in this whole series, we will be revolving around these four patterns. And as you can see that there arises multiple cases inside the SSG like uh, if you want to generate a site uh, with data without data and if it is without data then there is no data at all and but if there is some data but you want to fetch it on the client right so meanwhile uh, we'll discuss all of these patterns in in deep in the upcoming videos but the main agenda that i have set up for this particular video is to talk about uh, pre-rendering right so what is pre-rendering what are the cases when there is no pre-rendering what are the cases when there is pre-rendering so once you understand this uh, process of pre-rendering then this becomes very easy for you to grasp the concepts uh, of uh, csr ssr ssg and issg right so this 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 is really important for uh, someone who is uh, beginning with the rendering patterns uh, video so without wasting any time let's dive into the uh, basics right okay so here comes the first part so what is uh, first of all i'll don't give you an exact definition of pre-rendering but you'll gradually understand when there is no pre-rendering and when there is pre-rendering okay so I am assuming that you all are aware of the React applications that you create, right? A simple React app uh, via the uh, Create React app. You do npx Create React app and followed by your project name, right? And uh, once you do that, the project is set up and you do a npm start and the project is running on the server. Okay. So a basic uh, CSR example would be of React JS. Okay. So what I mean by that is in the simple react application there is no pre-rendering okay so let me walk you through these steps so let's suppose you uh you start the server by doing npm start and you open the web page like you go to localhost uh, 3000 now the server which you have started running on your localhost it would send a html file to the browser okay and this html file uh, once received uh, on the client uh, by with the client i mean by the browser okay so once the browser receives the html file this is how uh, this is how it will have it right div id root some empty spaces here and the close div and followed by other uh, syntactic uh, uh, elements right body tag uh, html tag head title and other stuff for not right just a basic html file you you know the purpose of this id right because we hook to this particular id and we render all of all of our react components under this uh, particular dev tag okay so this is our html file that is received on the browser on the first load okay and once the html is received it parses it since there is nothing inside this particular div it is empty you see a blank screen right when the first load now after the client uh, is hydrated with javascript then our react code runs and then it fills this empty space with the components right with all the components that you have written so far whatever component you have written so by diagram this is what happens over here so on the initial upload you'll see a blank screen nothing is visible because the server sends us a html file 
with uh, with div id root and nothing is present uh, inside the children of this particular div because react up till now has not been run on the browser so that all of the component that needs to be uh, appended over here or added over here are not executed yet okay so on the initial upload you see a blank screen and this is the html that is responsible for the blank screen now the browser requests for the javascript file okay javascript file is sent uh, via this react server uh, to the browser the browser receives the js file actually and this js file contains the react code now react code uh, when it runs it executes our react code right it executes all of the lifecycle methods component did mount did updated and it returns a jsx and that component is a kind of uh, written over here or added over here right the moment this is added you see a visible content on the screen right so this is this is a classic example of no pre-rendering so by no pre-rendering i mean that on the initial upload the uh, html that was sent to you didn't contain any visible content okay it was not pre-rendered okay just i am emphasizing on this word again on the initial upload you saw a blank screen and nothing was visible because the initial the first html file sent from the browser was not pre-rendered on the server i hope this is making sense now okay so what if the html file sent to the client was already pre-rendered somehow okay i don't know how it is rendered uh, neither i know this how it can be rendered pre-rendered on the server neither you as well if you know it it's good i don't know i i, I don't i don't know how this is a uh, pre-rendered on server i haven't done it but we will get there okay i'll keep everything uh in a chain okay nothing would get lost so I recall, recall that statement again. When the HTML file, uh, when the HTML file was sent to us from the server, because it was not pre-rendered, I was not able to see anything on the app load. Once the JavaScript was loaded and the app become hydrated. So if you're not aware what hydration means, right? So hydration is nothing just when the app become becomes interactive. Uh, like when the browser is loaded with the js okay hydrate karna means that you hydrate the application with js you when the javascript is loaded to the browser the your web page becomes hydrated like think of hydration as drinking water uh, for us okay for humans so when we are feeling low we hydrate ourselves right so, so when we are feeling low we are unresponsive right we 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 become lazy we do not respond to things but once we become hydrated once we drink some water we are responsive uh, we become responsive to uh, the elements right we become become responsive to actions similarly is the case with browser okay uh, think that this particular browser when js is not loaded it is not interactive right because the logic is not there when you click the button nothing would happen when you uh press cancel button or press uh you know cross buttons or do any of the stuff that is because the logic is not loaded yet so nothing is happening so the app is unresponsive okay so similarly is the case with humans when we uh when we are not hydrated we become unresponsive now when javascript is loaded into the browser like similarly when we drink water okay water here is javascript so when the application drinks javascript <laughs> we can say that or when the application is loaded with javascript it it gets energized it becomes active it becomes interactive so this is hydration okay nothing fancy about it this is hydration like in the uh upcoming videos if i talk about hydration if i talk about pre-rendering right these are all important lingos that you should be aware of okay so coming back to this presentation so i hope you are aware like what uh, pre-render means actually now okay so a simple react application sends html but it is not pre-rendered before it which means that all of the content that is expected over here right i'm emphasizing over here over this empty space is not present 
because it was not pre-rendered before sending it to the browser. So we saw nothing and this was a bad user experience. Okay, this was a literally bad. Like we have to wait until the JavaScript is loaded. We have to wait until the React code is uh, run on the uh, browser and all of the components are rendered here. Then afterwards, we will see the visible content. And uh, yeah, and this is visible only if you are loading a heavy JS file. Have you have a heavy JS bundle that needs to be loaded? Okay, if you are uh, running a small, a uh, very uh, you know, few KBs like one KB, two KB of JS, then you won't actually see the difference uh, on your browsers. Okay, so for that the JS needs to be a little heavy so that you can visually see those effect uh, onto the browser. Okay, so this is with no pre-rendering. Okay, now so what if pre-rendering happens? Okay, so here comes the next slide with pre-rendering. Cool. So what is pre-rendering? So again, if there is no render, um, no pre-rendering, then we see a empty uh, empty space there. If there is pre-rendering from the server on the initial upload, you will have that visible content. Okay. So let me put it. Uh, let me read this out for you. So the server sends a HTML file to the browser. Browser receives a complete HTML file to display on screen. After the client is hydrated with JS, our app becomes interactive. Now. Uh, let us visually uh, see uh, see this via the diagrams on the initial upload it sends a html right so the html is complete in itself so that when the browser renders it we see the visible content already the only thing missing up till now is the js which will add functionality right so this is a better user experience right because this time on the initial upload you are actually seeing something okay so the time the by the time the user gets accustomed to whatever is uh, painted on the screen right because he will uh, read all the words he will under, uh, read the paragraphs he will see the images and whatnot right so this would be a better user experience for the user now when again this is uh, similar as before now when the javascript is loaded the hydration happens and the app becomes interactive so literally this part right this part user will not feel if the when the app was hydrated right if we go back to the presentation where the where no pre-rendering was happening when the javascript was loaded then the content was becoming visible on the screen so that the user using uh, using that website he he can vi visually see that okay this was the time the browser uh, the browser the application was hydrated so that i am now seeing the screen so this hydration is not visible to the user right so this is this is the power of pre-rendering because on the initial upload you saw the visible content javascript got loaded and behind the scenes even if the app becomes uh, hydrated right so it is not uh, visually visible to the user okay so it happens kind of in background Right, so nothing, nothing much changes for the user, and this is actually a good experience. So this is what pre-rendering is, and this pre-rendering we can achieve it via the Next.js application, right? So we will talk in detail. So this would all uh, come into uh, SSR, and the, in the this previous example uh, was uh, CSR, right? So we will be discussing in depth uh, each rendering patterns. Okay, uh, CSR, SSR ssg and issg okay and we will cover all the scenarios as well but for the starters i do not i do not want to load all of you guys with a lot of information at once so that it becomes a lot overwhelming for you right so these are actually complex patterns and having a crystal clear knowledge of each pattern is somewhat overwhelming for everyone right so we'll gradually progress with this particular series and i'll uh, gradually introduce you with the new uh, lingos and the terms and each video will cover a specific uh, uh rendering pattern from this map okay so this was uh about uh, pre-rendering and rendering and yeah so the like target of this particular video is 50 likes and up till so far if you see that the likes are less than 50 then go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to js cafe if you haven't already because uh by the time i think i post this video we might have 
क्रॉस्ड थ्री के सब्सक्राइबर्स और वी माइट बी इन प्रोग्रेस ऑफ टचिंग थ्री थ्री के सब्सक्राइबर्स आई डोंट नो राइट वी आर राइट नाउ वेन आई एम शूटिंग दिस वीडियो वी आर अराउंड टू पॉइंट नाइन के लेट्स होप वी क्रॉस थ्री के सून एंड या आई नो यू गाइज आर वेटिंग फॉर माई इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस वीडियो एज वेल द I could have um, recorded a video and uh, uploaded it already, but again, it requires since we are talking about uh, my employer, so it it would require some kind of permission from them. I have to go through their social media team, get uh, uh, some approvals, and then only I can uh, come up with the interview uh, experience video, right? So it is uh, taking some time. Uh, I am trying my best to get it, uh, get all the approvals as soon as possible. But uh, yeah, I'll be more than happy to share my experience with you guys, right? So, uh, yeah, so keep uh, supporting us. This channel is growing at a great rate, and also I would like to, uh, to give a shout out to this video probably on LinkedIn or Twitter if you want to because that would actually help us reach a wider audience because we are covering a lot of good stuffs about front end interviews. All I I want is you to help you with. Tracking front-end interviews and also load you with important uh, information, right, and knowledge, so that you are not just a front-end developer. You are a good front-end developer, right? I want to make a good front-end developer. So that is the agenda, and yeah, and we are growing together. I see a lot of comments where people are telling that they have cracked some interviews and questions did uh, matched a few of them from the front end interview series this makes me extremely happy that i am contributing in someone's interview right and this is something uh, really exciting for me as well so yeah uh, enough of talking this was all in this video till then take care goodbye see you in the next one